Hey gang, it's the end of Black Friday 2019. We've had a pretty good haul, both personally and for tech. Um, the, the hotel room is absolutely full of stuff. Everybody is already dead passed out asleep from going since, I don't know, 6 a.m. and it's almost midnight now. And I've got a review for you. Um, first of all, you'll notice we got a little bit better lighting, a little bit better fixed position cameras, so I can actually see you and talk with you. We got ourselves this awesome vlogging kit. I highly recommend getting yourselves one of these puppies. Um, works really nice for vlogging and simple stuff. Obviously, our professional stuff, we're using more pro-grade stuff, but for simple stuff, so I can get more content out, this works good. So today we're talking about keyboards for coding, for programming, for developers. Not necessarily for gamers, but you know we kind of work in the same world and sometimes we're the same people too. So I want to see if maybe we have the same keyboards. Okay, and I bought them all. Um, just an important note, I did consider every possible keyboard, you name it. I mean, Logitech has a G513, everybody said that is the keyboard for gaming, or for coders. It's not, it's so noisy. It violates rule number one of my two rules. First one is it can't be so noisy that it aggravates your coworkers to commit inter-office homicide. And the second thing is that it has to be um, effortless, very easy on the fingers so that after 48 hours, you're not getting like tired and weighed down in a carpal tunnel. Starting with the Corsair K70 RGB MK2 low profile, the Corsair K55 RGB, the Corsair K68, not to be confused with the K68 RGB. This one is almost half the price and the only difference is color. And the Razer Ornata Chrome. The first unit I'll review is the Corsair K70 RGB MK2 low profile. Lots of nice features. It's a good, heavy, sturdy build. Um, it's mechanical. Um, obviously the effects of the light's cool. It's got the volume knob here, media buttons here, and a nice little USB expansion port. That's really nice because as you can see, I'm doing file transfers right now as I make this video. So first thing that I noticed is that as my fingers moving around, like they were like catching on the next key. The next thing I noticed was this textured keyboard. I've never seen that before. And it's like my thumb wants to stick. And so like, I guess if I did proper touch typing and my key, my fingers always stayed on these kinds of keys, my thumb would never technically move. But I'm not like that and my hands want to move, but it's like it gets stuck. That combined with that bumping, it just feels weird. And it's like I've got to train myself to get used to it, but I've never had to train myself on a keyboard before. I mean, I've had keyboards since like the early 90s and I haven't needed to train myself on it. So it's just kind of funny how these gaming keyboards have this kind of reaction. Um, anyway, on a test, and by the way, I'm going strictly on a feel test there are a million videos on spec and feature and they are going to be far better than anything that i could ever do uh, i'll try to do a test for feeling you can kind of see the reactions that i'm getting here now i don't think i'm a very sloppy typer but you tell me if you can read that yeah it's just weird bumping into these moving on the k55 um it sounds really nice listen to how quiet that is that's really nice for a membrane keyboard not even mechanical i'm seriously impressed with this thing it's got a couple of uh, media controls that's nice nothing for the usb i mean it's a little bit heavier than your typical membrane keyboard function keys on the side great for programmers no usb that'd be nice now here's the thing with this one as i was testing it the keys travel so far and they're so big that yeah that bumping i mentioned on the k70 i wish it was like that on this like i can't even get my finger to it when if i'm, if I'm going from one to the other i'm just i just finished typing one i'll hit the j and i want to go to the next one my finger jams on it so i mean i'll do a test for you um but there's really not much point because i'm telling you this one just isn't going to work but here's what we have Yeah, you can see it's actually, it came out okay, but just trust me, it feels extremely um, uncomfortable. 
So that's the K55. Moving on to the next two, the uh, Razor Ornata. You see I still have it in the packaging. That's because that's where it's going to stay. I'm not even going to bring this one out for you because, listen to this. First rule I said was, well, I, I said it has to be ergonomic. Uh, second thing, it couldn't be clanky. Listen to this. Yeah, that ain't happening. And guess what? Right over here, the K68. Even worse. So, in conclusion, the Razor Ornata Chroma, the Corsair K68, the Corsair K55 RGB, and the Corsair K70 RGB MK2 low profile don't impress me at all. I'm honestly thinking of just switching to a business grade keyboard for like $39.99 at uh, some big box store because I'm not impressed with anything that I'm seeing. For the amount of money that you're talking about, like this thing is almost 100 US. This one is about 40 US, I think. Um, so in Canada, you're popping 70, 80 bucks and you could be getting even higher with one of these, probably getting close to 150. Um, I'm not seeing any sort of value in that at all. These are all going back. Oh, well, it's the day after, and as you can see from our hotel room, the, it's it's uh, it's quite a, an adventure when you uh, go Black Friday shopping. My team and I have been doing this for years, and um, well, we go nuts. And it's a family event. We just made our first poo poo. Congratulations! Um, <laughs> and it's very much a, a, a total random. Uh, spontaneous adventure so where we left off last time we talked about the k70 well I went back to just about every store and I've narrowed down pretty much every keyboard that's ever been made what if you could take the k70 and all of its great features but make it a little bit quieter you would have the strafe using silent keys here's what it looks like it's literally the k70 I don't need to show you anything it lights up it's all the same thing but listen to this It's quiet. So the only problem now, it's got all the features, really nice buttons, beautiful keys, mechanical, light up, the USB port, but you got that grippy keyboard. And from a comfort standpoint, not so good. Gaming, great. Again, of course, this isn't a coding keyboard, but this is the whole point of the test. When you press down, though, there's still enough that if you're that type of, key, of a keyboard person where you... You type and you want to glide to the next key, you can't. So that is what gives it a strike. Otherwise, home run. Okay, next question. What if you want something with performance? You get the Logitech MK70. The problem though, one, it's wireless. And my team says never, ever, ever get wireless. Two, it's quiet, but, hear how quiet it is? But the keys are kind of gummy, and they're gummy because when you put them up against something that's the next best to wireless, wireless with no battery problems, the K750 Solar, you solve your wireless problem, and you solve the gumminess problem, and it's still very quiet. All right? So very, very nice. Um, very classy keyboard. And that would probably be the number one keyboard I would go with if this was 2018. But it's not 2018, it's 2019. And we have the K740 Illuminated. It's a wired keyboard, so, I mean, it'd be nice if you could do a K70 Solar, but for right now. It's wired. It's got some sort of like a glass edge bezel on it with a flat Mac. Like, just see this on your, on your desk, it's amazing. It's got the softest keys ever okay everybody everybody quiet please we're doing a, a closed parade right now apparently you can't even hear it the edges are rounded the only keyboard that has better rounding on the edges for gliding look how smooth i can glide my keys even when i've pressed down the letter all the way I still glide the only one better is a microsoft wave style keyboard um but um they're ugly, they feel weird, they're all crooked because the, the letters go like wavy. Um, I'm not talking about the split one, the ergonomic one that from like 
the 90s. That one I still can't figure out. Um, but this is Logitech version, and it's just, it's just pretty. Now, it doesn't have any USB ports, but at the same time, it's waffa thin. Look at that. Now, you hook it up to the keyboard. I've got a Sony uh, Vio Flip, and you can see how it lights up when it's got input. But it lights up. It is now in competition Ooh. with the Logitech light up. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I was being pretty lazy and I only screwed up on this the second one when I was trying to show off. Um, it's so smooth. The keys just, they, they just glide. I think I've got myself a winner. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it, people. I believe that the Logitech K740 Illuminated is our winner. The only thing it doesn't have is a USB hub, but that's because it's a keyboard flavored keyboard, not a USB hub flavored keyboard. If you want a hub, get a hub. Of course, you know, I like it to do more, but that's okay because where it lacks in that one extra little feature and makes up for in sheer beauty and elegance. This thing's gonna look great on my desk, and more importantly, it's going to um, accommodate an eight to 12 hour coding blitz. So, in my opinion, not the opinion of Stormplug Technologies, just mine personally. I think that's your winner. If you're a coder or developer, you've seen it. We've tried them all. Um, and I, I, that includes uh, the ones that you haven't seen, like Microsoft. Um, I've included them as well. Um, I have tested them. Uh, the ones that you saw in the video just were the ones that made the final cut. And from all of them, I think this is your winner. Hope that helps you. If you got any questions or comments or you think there's something better that I haven't even thought of, let me know and I'll do what I can to, to provide uh, feedback. Thanks for watching. I'm happy. You might say I'm happy as a toddler in a Black Friday suitcase. What does that mean? It's going to become a thing because that's how happy I am. Is that a spaceship? Is it a boat? Is it a car? That's how happy I am, folks. Thanks for watching. Can you wave bye bye to everybody watching? Bye bye. Can you say see you soon? See you. Can you say storm? Storm. Can you say blown away? Blown. Can you say by imagination? Yeah. <laughs> wave bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Fly away in your spaceship.